Hi, my name is Sadi Chohan and today we are going to talk about the most important topics of Plan Swift software. First is how to get the backup of Plan Swift project. And second, how to transfer a project from one computer to another. Why it's so important to learn? Let me show you few of the screenshots to understand. Actually, this is one of the topics I received messages on a weekly basis where users keep mentioning that Plan Swift projects are corrupted, Plan Swift files and takeoffs are missing, Plan Swift projects are unable to open, and there are many more. So, I will show you how to avoid this unpleasant moment and not to keep you that at high risk. So, let's get started. Okay, let's assume this is the project where you have many pages, takeoff, items, and you need to take the backup, an additional copy of Plan Swift project. So, how to do this? Right now we are on a home tab. We need to click here, tools tab. Once we click, here we can find out few options. But our focus will be on two, zip and unzip. It's very obvious, zip to close, unzip to open. Okay, if our concern is to take the backup only, so we need to click here, zip Swift job. Once we click here, software will open the window and here it will allow us to choose the location where we want to save the file. And you can see here, I have already saved few projects before. Software shows the previous projects. Fine. Now you can choose any location. Your server, network, external drive, as you like. So I will just give a name here. Okay, it's project 856. You can change the name of course and it's my 2021 fine okay now depending on the numbers of files and the takeoffs you have done in this project software will take some time and save the project we can see here in the same location where we have saved i can see my all of my projects including the recent one okay first good thing you can see here the size 5.46 mb so software will not consume a lot of space it will compress the file and keep the minimum size and second, any harmful file like virus is not allowed to enter inside this project. And third is, only plans of users are allowed to open this file. Okay, so we have seen here till now how to take the backup. So our project is safe here as long as we want. Okay, now the question is how to open this project. Because maybe we need to send this project to somebody so they can review or continue the work or maybe by mistake I have deleted few of the pages and take off and I don't want to repeat it I don't want to spend extra time so how I can open this project okay it's very simple okay so if you want your click to continue your work so simply you can send this file through email through USB through Google Drive Dropbox as you like once the next person have these files or maybe you want to open it again simply open the plan swift here you will find out under the tools tab unzip swift job okay simply click here unzip swift job software will open the computer window and you can choose the location where you kept all your projects okay i have kept my projects here simply i need to select the file the project file and press ok Fine, now it's finished. We can see here on the top, Revision 02, the same name which I have provided. So first floor, I have everything. It's updated file. So this is how we can open the project. Okay, now I want to suggest you a few things based on my experience dealing with the software. I have seen many worse cases. So let me show you a few of the examples so you can learn more about this topic. The first one is these projects, it's not updating real time. It's not synchronizing. What is the meaning? Mean if I delete something here, software will not automatically update these projects. This is the file which you took yesterday or maybe one week before. 
it will not automatically update if you modify something you delete you add something software will not update those files automatically you have to take the backup again you have to take additional copy so this is the first thing to keep in your mind it's not real time updating you have to take additional copies as you can see here the same project a i have three copies and i have divided as per day 23 24 25 maybe you can change the name as vn0 or vn01 based on your type okay now the second advice whenever you press this button zip swift job and if you think it's the same project never overwrite you see here software mentioned do you want to replace it now imagine the file which you are replacing right now it's not 100 percent complete maybe there is a virus inside you will lose the original and you will not have the new one so i will never suggest you to overwrite it's not only about plan shift never overwrite any file even a microsoft word excel or pdf file as well that's why i have keep the project separately i have divided as a name or maybe you can divide by revision revision 01 and 02 so that's the important advice never overwrite okay now the third advice is quite similar whenever you press this button unzip swift job software allow you to choose the project here and once you choose the project first thing software show you the name i will advise you never keep the same name because if you have already one file with the same name it will overwrite maybe it will merge it and if the file is missing in any of the project it will affect both of them so it's better to keep a new name test revision 0 2 3 as you want but it's not suggested to override that was the third one okay fourth is some users are unable to zip the project because whenever they press this button one error appears on the screen so if you saw such cases i will suggest you to simply restart your computer and try again hopefully it will work okay fifth is you don't want to send the project including all the files and take off what if you just need to send only first floor or a specific drawing so in that case don't use this file zip your job because if you press it it will compress all the project so how to transfer only limited pages and take off click here on a home tab okay so click here email jobs there are three options like email uh, plan screenshot or file of course it's a plan then next you can choose the pages if your concern is all pages you can choose accordingly and if you want to send only few pages limited ones so you can choose here okay ground and first and then the takeoffs so here you have selected limited pages the takeoffs accordingly then next you can enter your email the next person's email and simply send so by following this pattern you can save the project as a limited file okay the sixth is you have so many projects like me and you want to transfer from one computer to another one so zipping the project one by one will not help you so the question is how to transfer all of your projects from one computer to another so i have already made one video on a youtube you can simply find me on a youtube by my name and here you will find out the video plans of jobs from one computer to another and apart from this i have other videos already about plans of training about special trade about plans of customization advanced tools you will find here many useful video about plan swift so that's all about the topic i hope you all learned something from this video and if you have any question or doubt related to plan swift then let me know and don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day everyone.